Hi, this is a super fun and engaging fractions assignment, and it is created specifically for Google Classroom, so everything is interactive. The kids can move the fractions around and show their learning in different ways. So I'm going to take you really quickly through what kinds of things we have, and you can delete slides and take things out and use different standards for the kids. So here they create their own fraction bar by dragging the pieces and there is a video teaching them how to do that if they want more help. And you can delete that video as well if you don't want it on there. Then there's a fraction match where the kids drag and drop. There's two of those. Fill in the fraction is really, really fun because it's interactive. There's a whole bunch of these and there's a video teaching them how to do it. But they grab this and they just fill it in to represent the fraction that is indicated on the bottom right. Super fun. There's a whole bunch of these. Next is equivalent fractions. So fill in the shapes so that every fraction is equivalent to one half, one third, three fourths, two thirds. Then we have a more and less where they drag if it's less than one half or more, and they can actually drag these and, and uh, manipulate them and hold it over the one half to look and see which one is bigger. So that's really cool. They can actually drag this down and look at it compared to the one half, which is locked, so they can't move that part. They can just manipulate the fractions. So there are a few of these. We've got one half, one third, three fourths. And then we have a comparing fractions where they'll take two fractions and again, really cool that they can move these and see which one's bigger. And then they're going to move this piece and the alligator eats the bigger fraction. And then they're going to type it out in a full sentence. And there's an example down here and the vocabulary right here. Another cool thing about these is that I made them transparent so you can drag them on top of each other and see which one is bigger. I prefer just stacking them like this though. All right, so there's a few of those for comparing fractions. And then there's a number line. So they drag the fraction to where it belongs. There's a couple with pictures and then some with um, number fractions. There's some with mixed numbers and <clears throat> improper fractions as well. And then at the bottom, there are some resources for you. So this is clip art that I created so you can put these and make your own slides as well at the end. And then I provided also this fraction bar that's been created that you can manipulate if you want to move it around. And then this one is a fixed image so you can place this image on another page as an extra resource or give it to the kids in another way. This box so that you can make your own interactive fraction slides if you want to add to it. And then just a blank page if you want to do anything else. All right, so this is a super cool project. I made it with my kids in mind thinking they're a lot more successful when they can really move things around and not just be typing and doing multiple choice all the time. So that's why I created this. And I really hope that your students love it as much as mine do. And then at the top here, there's a couple videos. This one you're watching now is the overview. But um, I also made one for how to assign in Google Classroom. And I'm here if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.